Hello everyone, welcome to Scorcher Toys at Anymoon.com's Transformation Guide for Yamato's 160 scale VF11B as seen in Macross Plus and VF11C as seen in Macross 7 toys. Same transformation, just different colors. We are going to go from fighter mode to gear walk and ultimately batroid mode in this video. I've got the landing gear already stowed. I've got the covers on the intakes. Very easy steps that you can do on your own. I do have full scans of the instructions up on anymoon.com. And if you're shopping for these toys, they're long sold out. You're going to have a hard time finding them. For anything else, I recommend you check out Big Bad Toy Store. Let's begin transformation by taking the legs. There are pegs that come in off of these pieces right here and go into the leg. And there are pegs that go in from the leg into the arm. So what we're going to do is we're just going to apply a little pressure down and out and once we get the leg we can pivot at the gear walk joint here to bring it down we also have an extension we can do that then allows us to bring it forward we can then pull our foot out and open it up and we can take this fin here and we can recess it by pushing up and in like so and we can repeat all of those steps on the other side now your toy should look like this. And what we're gonna do is spin it around, put a couple fingers underneath, pry the forearms down, unpeg the shield. And once you have, we're just gonna slide that shield out. Uh, you are gonna have to open those forearms anyway. So no matter what, you are gonna have to remove it. So don't freak out about perfect transformation. It's just what you gotta do. Once you've got it in this position, put your thumb right here, your fingers underneath and lift up to get the entire back of the plane separated from the intakes. Once you've done that, you can bring these pieces all the way back. And once you have, you can bring these triangles here forward as much as you can get them. And lift these flaps forward, which exposes that hinge there. And you're gonna grab the arm like so and just swing it over. And as you get to about this point, you're gonna bring the arm back and continue forward. And what you want is this groove right here to square off against that. So you're gonna bring that all the way forward. And then you can see nice and flush. We'll repeat on the other side. And get that in the same position. These flaps can pop off. It's no big deal if they do. Just lay them flat over the top there. And then we're gonna take our hand as we are used to doing, pull that open, spin the hand out. And then you can just find a nice natural position for your elbows to be in. I've gone ahead and flipped the other hand out. Now what I'm gonna do is bring this up and I'm going to bring this tab down and there is a slot right at the front here. So we get the slider mechanism, we push it forward, this comes down, we line it up with the slot in front of it and go all the way down until it clicks into place and we repeat on the other side. Your toy should look like this now. We've got those flaps down. We wanna make sure we haven't accidentally bumped these flaps out at all. They need to be nice and tucked in tight and that'll allow us just to bring this back, put a little pressure on and then we just need to seat our intakes. That one looks like it just kind of went flush right away. This one, not quite perfectly in place, but a little wiggle jiggle, get it there. So there you go, that's in place now. We could just bring our arms down. And then we had originally the shield pegged in here. Now the shield is gonna rotate around and go in this peg underneath the forearm line it up and press it in and there you go now we have a lot of fine tuning to do but you have made it to gear walk mode from a fine tuning perspective you're probably going to need to get your cockpit to sit flush it is a removable section here it does get messed around as you handle the toy so if you're going to leave it on your shelf make sure you've got it nice and flat also as we transform now into batroid mode make sure you've got no foam in there as that will inhibit the next step as we get the heat shield out. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this shield here as it will pop off easily during handling. Now we have a slider mechanism underneath the cockpit and I'm gonna bring that slid all the way forward, which allows the cockpit to fall inside the cavity there. And we need to do a little wiggle and jiggle to get it at its lowest point that you could see there. 
There is also a pivot point underneath here that allows us to bring the whole nose section down like so. I put an edit in the video because this next step is incredibly difficult to pull off, probably frustrating a lot of people. Let's try to see if we can't figure some way out of doing this that isn't so bad. So let's flip the toy over. That's gonna cause this portion to drop down. Now this portion is the cause of all of the angst because if it came down and kind of locked into the position it's supposed to, which is the furthest out it can get, then things would come together very well, but it doesn't. So you can see as I touch it, slides right back up and there's no real good way of grabbing it and yanking it down. Now in the past, I've used tweezers to actually make that happen, but that's not the best solution here. Now I'm gonna take the top heat shield, slide that forward, and it's on a double hinge here, so we can keep going with it. We're gonna bring it up and through, and we're gonna press down on it and then keep pressing forward. And then you can see it's actually lining up pretty nicely with that bottom portion. And if I push down on the bottom while I push up, I should be able to get it to come down like so. So there it goes, it just locked into position. I got a fingernail on the lip pulling down as I reached my other fingernail around and pulled this all the way forward. So as we were beginning this, it had slid back just a tiny bit to allow that cockpit to be forward. And then we can handle this, get that bottom piece into position by pulling up like we did. And now you are able to move on to Badroid. In manhandling my toy to get that heat shield over, I have knocked these pegs out of the back, but it doesn't really matter because what we want to do is just slide them all the way back. We do not need them out for Batroid mode. And then what we're going to do is just pivot the whole section up here, like we did previously. Get that whole section up and bring your legs forward. Now let's go ahead and get the legs into Batroid position here. So we're gonna straighten them out at the gear walk joint. We're gonna recess the knee and get the foot flat. And I'm gonna go ahead and just push the foot in because it'll make it a little more stable in Batroid mode. And we'll repeat on the other side. The toy's gonna look something like this now. And what we're gonna do is bring the nose down and the back up so it's nice and erect. Flush at the top there spinning the toy around. We have this flap covering the face. We're gonna bring that down and you can see that peg underneath that was holding the nose cone together. It is now going to slide underneath that flap and lock the torso together like so. While we're back here, we have a couple sliders. I'm gonna push one up on my own here and you might need a toothpick or something, but Get that up, we'll try to do the other side. I'll just get started here. You can see here is that piece that is coming up with the slider and it just comes up like so to kind of lock things into position. Really all it does, it's completely superficial, just a little looks thing. Coming back to the back, we have these flaps here, which come up and fill the cavity next to this, the head on either side of the head. Now what we're gonna do is bring our arm back up and over and that's gonna give us clearance on this triangle here. We're gonna bring that up and fold it over. And then we're gonna bring our arm back down. Now make sure you don't have the flap up or it'll hit the canard and pop off. Although you could just plug it back on if it does. Just swing that back down. And we're gonna repeat with the arm on the other side. We're in the home stretch now. We're gonna go ahead and pull the hips out just a little bit. There's a little bit of an extension there. Spin the toy around. We will take these wings and bring them all the way in like so and turn the head forward. Then we're gonna bring the laser forward and pitch that back. Maybe get your elbows at a little bit more aggressive of an angle. Grab your shield, plug it into the forearm. And there it is, folks. You are in Batroid mode. Check out my full article on anymoon.com. Subscribe and as always, Thanks for watching.